You ever stop and think about how much power it takes to run your aquarium? Or in another way, how many things inside your aquarium require power? Well, there's the right off the top of your head things like filters and lights. But there's also heaters, air pumps, wave makers, protein skimmers, power heads. There's a lot. So what happens if there's ever a power outage in your area? If you lose power, you're going to lose all those things. And what if it happens when you're not home? When you're at work? That can mean big trouble for your fish. But there's only one immediate threat. And that is aeration. Like I talked about in my last video, aeration is super important. Without your air pumps and wave makers running, it's going to quickly deplete the oxygen levels in your tank. And if you got an overstocked tank like mine, then it's going to happen even quicker. And the first thing that's going to kill your fish during a power outage is a lack of oxygen. But there's nothing to worry about if you're prepared. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way of providing an automatic backup in case of such an emergency, especially if you're not around to attend to it. Let's go. Welcome to Caveman Aquatics, guys. I'm Kev from CavemanAquatics.com. Make sure you check the website out. I try to make helpful videos on aquarium-related topics. I've helped a bunch of beginners get started. I answer all my comments and questions, so feel free to drop something in there, and I'll do my best to help you out. I also upload videos every week, so consider subscribing. Hang out on the channel, take a look around. Hopefully, you'll find something you like. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified of new videos. So ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I want to talk to you about the Penplax Silent Air B11. Not to be confused with the B10 that does not do the same thing. Now by no means do I want you guys to feel like this is a product commercial because it's not. It's literally what I use in my tank and I love it. I get the peace of mind I need knowing that my fish are covered and I wanted to share it with you guys. This Silent Air B11 or SAB11 for short is a battery backup air pump. It's not a battery operated air pump like most battery pumps. This is designed to be a backup and not as a standalone air pump. What does it back up? It backs you up in case there's a loss of power. This very small, very cheap, very affordable piece of equipment is gonna save you a bunch of headache. Let me explain how this works. The SAB11 comes with a power cord and requires it to be plugged into an outlet, but it also needs two double D batteries. What this unit does is that it monitors the power from your outlet. While power is there, it does nothing. The other end of this is attached to an air stone just sitting in your tank doing nothing. But if there's ever a power outage, the unit will acknowledge the power failure and kick itself on with battery power. Essentially providing oxygen to your tank while the power and everything else is off. That's awesome. Let me demonstrate. Here I'm showing you my air stone that's attached to my standalone air pump that's always on always providing bubbles along with my wave maker that provides surface agitation as you can see now what i want to show you guys if you look at this blue tube that is attached to another air stone that's just sitting there doing nothing that's the air stone attached to the backup air pump right now that backup air pump is plugged into the outlet monitoring the power i'm going to go ahead and shut off the power strip where my Silent Air B11 is powered to. Hopefully you guys can see this well. And now you can hear it working. And let's take a look at that air stone. There she is pumping away. As you can see, my other air stone is powered off. Check out the bubbles in that water. That's all coming from the Silent Air B11. The air stone attached to, excuse me, the air stone attached to my standalone air pump isn't working, powers out. But all those bubbles you see are coming from the air stone attached to the Silent Air B11. I'm gonna kick it back on. Silent air stops working. Check out that air stone, no more bubbles because it's now reading the power outage or the lack of the power outage. It's actually reading that there's power at the outlet. And my air stone that's attached to my standalone air pump is working again, along with the lights and everything else. Now, I don't know why they called it the silent air because it's definitely not silent. It's definitely not quiet, but this could be a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it. Let's say you're asleep at night when the power goes out. 
Maybe you sleep close enough to your tank, you can hear this thing come on and it'll notify you that there's a problem. This pump can also be used as a portable pump. Let's say you want to move your fish or move your tank. You just turn the switch on on the air pump and leave it disconnected from the outlet. It's going to assume or think that there's no power and it's going to automatically run on the batteries, allowing you to transfer fish or move around. This is a great piece of equipment. It's only like 15 bucks on Amazon. Well worth the investment of having the peace of mind knowing that if anything goes wrong, these guys are going to be safe. Also, for 15 bucks, the cost of these guys, you're going to get the return on your investment for sure. As great as an airstone is in creating bubbles for aeration, my subscribers know that I'm a wave maker guy. So check this video out on top on proper placement of a wave maker to get you some great surface agitation. On the bottom, I put together a great playlist for beginners, so check that out, full of good info for you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.